Hello everyone, it's Jakub Hayek from Traffic Labs. Today I would like to show you how to use Traffic Enterprise with Vault. And there are two ways of integrating Vault with Traffic Enterprise. The first one is to configuring Vault as a PKI, and then you can use Vault PKI as a certificate resolver in your configuration. And the second one is to use Vault as a key value data store. In that case, you need to manually upload certificates and then traffic will pick up the appropriate certificates once the requests arrive to your infrastructure. So let me go to show you live demo how those two approaches uh, works. Okay, so I already prepared the initial configuration of the environment. So I set up the Kubernetes cluster on EKS. I also deployed Vault cluster on HashiCorp cloud platform. So we use peering connection between Vault cluster and EKS Kubernetes cluster because those two components are deployed on the AWS. That's why we can set up the peering connections between those two VPCs. And thanks to that, we can use private URL in order to connect to the Vault endpoint from Traffic Enterprise and from the Vault CLI. Typically, when I play with such an environment, I always deploy temporary pod on my cluster. This is actually that pod. And in that pod, I'm able to, thanks to the exported environment variables, I'm able to interact with Vault cluster using a Vault CLI. So those variables are already exported. As you can see, we can use a Vault token we can use Vault address, which is in that case, private URL and Vault namespace. So this is already executed. I can, I can use simple command to test connectivity. Yes, it works. And now the first step is to enable PKI secret engine. So as I mentioned, those steps are already executed. So I'm not going to execute it once again. Here is the all necessary commands that has to be executed. So the first one is to enable secret engine, set the default TTL, configure CA for the for the cert CA certificate, create the entry for issuing and revoc revoking certificates. We need to also create a role, and that role will have parameter allowed domains. So each of the subdomains based on that domain will have certificate automatically generated by Vault PKI. And then we can manually create certificate for that domain. This is not necessary because once we create ingress router and we use Vault certificate resolver as a Vault PKI, Vault PKI will be automatically generating certificates for us. So if the configuration is already from the Vault perspective is already finished, we need to add a couple of things to the static configuration for Traffic Enterprise static configuration. So the first step is to use Certificate Resolver, the name of the resolver, which is the Vault PKI, and then all what is necessary to have Vault configured correctly. So URL, token, engine path, role, and the namespace, because in that example, we'll use admin namespace. I also encourage you to, to generate new token with a higher TTL because by default, when you get the uh, when you get token from the HashiCorp Cloud platform, the TTL is set to six hours and your, your token can expire and then traffic enterprise won't be able to connect to Vault. Let me check whether that configuration is already added. So kubectl describe namespace traffic e. This is the place, this is the namespace where traffic enterprise is deployed, config map, and the name of the config map. Yeah, so certificate resolvers is, is added, Vault PKI, and everything what we have just mentioned. So once this is added, traffic will automatically reload controller and the new configuration should be applied. You should notice in your log files following entries that provider PKI provider 
started successfully and there is a Volt PKI certificate resolder also available. So once you notice those logs, those logs entries, you can create ingress route referring to that certificate resolver. So I have a couple of examples prepared to test that configuration. So let me try to show the first ingress route. Yeah, so the first ingress route will create will create who am I ingress route. It will be pointed to the will be exposed to entry point web secure and it will be using following matching rule and it will base on the host header so app who am i dash one and it will be pointing to the test application called who am i to its service and what is important tls section and certificate resolvers refer to the static configuration to the name of the vault pki resolver in the static configuration so this to that entry should match that entry let's apply it As you can see, traffic were able to notice new dynamic configuration and were able to resolve certificates. So now if we will execute curl HTTPS app who am I dash one dash K, we should receive information from, we should receive the response from who am I application. And yes, it works correctly. We got the response, we seems it's working fine. Let's try to verify what are the certificates presented. So yeah, the presented certificate is app who am I dash one and issuer is AWS traffic labs.tech. So it match what we already configured. So it works as expected. Let's do very similar trick once again, but let's change the URL, the host, app who am i dash two just to ensure that it works correctly so kubectl apply ingress route yeah it is working fine the object has been created we notice in the log files that certificate has been resolved and traffic uh, notice the new dynamic configuration so let's try to execute simple curl command to validate it and again, we should receive the same response because we are pointing to the same service. That's that's true. That works fine. And let's check the certificate. Yeah, works fine. So in that case, it means that Vault PKI were able to generate automatic certificate based on the host. If the host matched the allowed domain name in the Vault role, that's the configuration. And it also was able to connect to the vault using the namespace feature and works works fine. Okay, so now let's have a look on the another feature that is key value data store. So again, in order to enable that store, we need to use, we need to interact with the vault CLI, with the vault cluster using the vault CLI or we can use Vault API using a curl comment. That doesn't matter what what uh, option you select. In my case, I use a Vault CLI from that temporary pod running on my Kubernetes cluster. So in order to do that, we need to first create key value data store using the path and the, and the version two. What is important here, we need to also change the namespace because I would like to create a key value data stored in dedicated namespace to have a separation in my resources in vault cluster. So I need to expose that, that variable admin slash NS1 because that key value data store will be deployed in NS1. Okay, so again, that command has been already executed. Key value data store is enabled. Once it's enabled, we should create we should add some entries to the traffic static configuration to the to, to, in order to enable that provider. So that's the line that should be added to the static configuration. So plugin uh, in the section providers, plugin vault, URL, again, private URL, 
token, engine path, some information about the syncing time, and, and the namespace, so na admin slash ns1. <clears throat> Once that configuration is added, we should notice following lines in our log files so that vault key value provider started correctly. So let's check the configuration. Okay, so providers, Kubernetes CRD, Kubernetes Ingress, because we are using uh, Kubernetes and as a plugin, we are adding the vault configuration, vault traffic provider. Okay, so that's done. That's already implemented. And now we should generate certificate manually using OpenSSL command. That's the example command that I use to generate those certificates. I using the common name as well as alternative names. And now once those certificates are generated locally on my, on my temporary pod, I can upload those certificates to the key value data store using following command. So the vault key we put name of the key certificate. Please ensure that it's a base 64 encoded and a key. And now those certificates will be put to the TLS store. And if the request arrives that match those alternative names or common name, traffic should pick up the certificate and present it to, to the client. Let's try to test it. So in order to do that, we need to check another router. We need to create another router and have sp that with specific configuration. So here, as you can see, we are adding the Who Am I V1 KV, namespace APP, entry points, and again, router uh, matching rule will be using the host header, APP KV, AWS Traffic Labs .tech, that actually match the common name here. And again, it will be referring to the namespace app and to the service who am i created in that specific namespace as you notice there are the tls is the empty object so we are not applying any configuration here so that should be taken from the default tls store let's apply it okay it has been applied correctly now if we will use https app KV AWS traffic labs tech K. Yes, we are getting response. It means that router has been created, but we are interested what certificate has been presented. So let's try to use dash EV. And yeah, as you can see, the following certificate using all those subjects that I specified here has been presented. Now let's try to use another example, but we'll try to use some of the alternative names. So let's use APP2 or APPP3 because those two alternative DNS entries are added to our certificate. So that should be that example, APP2. Okay, let's apply it. APP2, yeah, it has been, it has been, it's for it. It has been created. The name is APP2, so curl, HTTPS, APP2. And again, let's first try whether the service is able to communicate with the backend. Yeah, I'm getting the response, the same response, because we have a one sample application. And now let's have a look on the certificate. What certificate has been presented? Okay, we have a correct certificate presented. That means the traffic were able to pick up that certificate from the TLS store that is actually stored in the Vault Key Value provider. So this is a great feature and this is everything what I would like to present today. So let me summarize. We enabled two features. First one is PKI, Vault PKI. That all certificates will be automatically presented, automatically generated and automatically 
present that based on the host. And the second one is to use a vault key value data store for uh, uploading certificates manually. And then if the matching rule, if the matching host match, the certificate traffic will automatically pick up that certificate from store and present to the client. I hope you like it. That short demo, let me know in the comments. If you have any more questions, we are happy to help you. Thank you. Bye bye.